Hello dear learner, welcome you all to the fifth module of the online course on domestic equipment maintenance. In my first session, I have explained about the fundamental principle behind the water purification, the basic construction of water purifier, and different types of water purifier. Here in this video, I will explain how to maintain and repair various water purifier. Maintenance and repairing of water purifier are essential to ensure its efficient performance and the delivery of clean and safe drinking water. Let us now discuss some general guidelines on how to maintain and troubleshoot common issues with a water purifier. First of all, maintenance. As a maintenance, first is the regular cleaning. When cleaning, different components of water purifier follow the manufacturer's guideline. Clean the water storage tank periodically to prevent the buildup sediments and uh, allergies. The next is filter replacement. Different type of water purifier uses various filters such as sediment, carbon, RO membrane, UV lamp, etc. Replace filters as recommended by the manufacturer or when to notice a decrease in water flow or quality. Some purifiers have filter replacement indicators that will help in determining the time for replacement. Next comes to the UV lamp replacement. If your purifier uses ultraviolet purification, replace the UV lamp as per the manufacturer's instructions. It is usually every 6 to 12 months. A worn out ultraviolet lamp might not effectively kill bacteria and other microorganisms. RO membrane, reverse osmosis membrane, cleaning and replacement. If your water purifier uses reverse osmosis, follow the guideline for cleaning or replacing the RO membrane. Regular maintenance of the RO system is important for optimal performances. Then sealing and leak checks. Regularly inspect for any leaks or loose connections. Ensure that all seals and o-rings are intact to prevent water leakage. Now coming to the external cleaning. Wipe down the exterior of the purifier regularly to keep it clean and presentable. Avoid using abrasive cleaners that could damage the surface. Let us now say the troubleshooting of some common issues say low water flow, check if the filters or the membrane need replacement, examine for the clogs or blockages in the pipes and the filters. Next, strands taste or maybe odor, then replace the filters or the cartridge as recommended by the manufacturer, clean the storage tank and Sanitize it with appropriate solution. Flush the system with water and empty the tank to eliminate stagnant water. The next third is the water leaks. If there is, then tighten any loose connection or fitting. Replace the damaged seals or o-rings. And if you found no water purification, ensure that the system is properly connected to a power source if it is applicable for the electrification. Now check if the filters or the membranes or the ultraviolet lamps are functioning properly. If you have reverse osmosis system, make sure the water pressure is adequate. Then there may be unusual noises. These unusual noises could indicate a malfunctioning motor maybe pump or other mechanical parts. Inspect the pump, motor or fan for sign of damage or malfunctioning and replace if necessary. 
contact the manufacturer or service technician if the noise persists. Then there may be in some digital models, there may be some error messages. If there is some error messages, refer to the user manual for, for the meaning of the error codes. Some, some issues might require professional servicing. Remember, remember that for complex, complex issues or ones involving electrical components, it is best to contact the manufacturer's customer support or a qualified technician. Regular maintenance and timely repairs will prolong the lifespan of your water purifier and ensure the delivery of clean and safe drinking water. Now, coming to the troubleshooting, troubleshoot and repair of basic filtration unit of water purifier. Repairing a basic filtration unit of a water filter typically involves addressing common issues such as leaks, clogs, or damaged components. Before attempting any repairs, make sure to turn off the water supply to the filter and disconnect the filter from the power source if it is to ensure your safety. Now there are some safety precautions. Before attempting any repairs, make sure to turn off the water supply to the filter and disconnect the filter from the power sources if required as it is mentioned. Then the tools and materials that are required. Before starting any repair, ensure you have gathered all necessary tools and materials required for the process which may include the wrench, screwdriver, replacement filter cartridge, teflon tape, pipe sealer, and bucket for collecting water. So now, as a part of the troubleshooting, first is identify the problem. Determine the specific issue with your water purifier, common problems like leaks, reduced water flow, or store uh, strange odors or taste. Then second step is the suck off water supply. Turn off the water supply to the filtration unit to prevent any further water fit from entering the system. Third is replace the filter cartridge if the primary issue is a reduction in water flow or a change in water quality it may be time to replace the filter cartridge. So to replace the filter cartridge, follow these four steps. Number one, open the filter housing by using a wrench or turning it counterclockwise, depending on the type of housing. Remove the old filter cartridge. Inside a new filter cartridge, make sure it is properly seated and secure. Resemble the filter housing and tighten it securely. Then next, number four is check for leaks. If you are dealing with leaks, inspect the filter housing connection and tubing for any visible sign of damage or loose fitting. If you find loose connection, Tighten it using your hands. If there is a damage to the housing or tubing, replace the damaged component. Apply teflon tape or pipe sealer to thread it connection if necessary to prevent the leaks. Then next number five is clean the system. If you notice strange odor or taste in your water, it might be due to build up of sediment inside the filters or the filter housing. Clean the components by following these three steps. Number one, remove the filter cartridge and rinse the housing with clean water. Soak the filter cartridge, if reusable, in a mixer of warm water and vinegar to remove any accumulated contaminants. Rinse it thoroughly. Then number three, Resemble the filter house, reassemble, sorry, reassemble the filter housing and replace the cleaned or new filter cartridge. 
Then, then number six, six the sixth, sixth step, step, turn off the water supply. Once, once you have addressed the issues and are confident that everything is properly assembled and sealed, then turn on the water supply to the filter. Then next step, set for leaks again. Inspect the system for any new leaks after turning on the water supply. If you find any tightened connections, or replace them as part as needed. Then next is monitor the performance. After repairing the filter, monitor its performance over the next few days to ensure it's operating correctly and providing you the clean water. And the last, the regular maintenance. To prevent future issues, perform regular maintenance on your water filter as recommended by the manufacturer. Remember that these steps discussed above are general guidelines and the specific repair process may vary depending on the type and the brand of your water purifier. Always refer to the manufacturer's instructions for your particular unit and consider seeking professional assistance if you are unsure about the repair process or if the problem persists. Next comes to the repairing of ultraviolet sterilization based water purifier. Repairing a ultraviolet sterilization based water purifier involves addressing issues related to the ultraviolet lamp, the flow rate and the electrical components. Ultraviolet water purifiers are relatively straightforward in terms of cell design, but it requires careful handling. Some issues that occur in UV sterilization based water purifier are UV lamps not working and low water flow. To troubleshoot these issues, clean the UV chamber or the replaced UV lamp if necessary. Inspect and repair electrical components if needed. Check for the water flow issues and test water quality of repair. Now, here is some step by step um, guideline to troubleshooting and repairing the ultraviolet water purifier. Um, safety precautions may be, as I, I have already discussed or mentioned before. Uh, main, uh, main thing is to ensure you you have the protective um, gear such as gloves and safety glasses if you need to handle UV lamps. The tools already as I mentioned you have to get the necessary tools and materials including say replacement UV lamp, a wrench, a multimeter for electrical components and a soft cloths. Again, Again, at the, the first, first, you have to identify the problem. Determine, determine the specific, specific issue with your UV water purifier. Common problems in UV water purifier includes the UV lamp in a work, low water flow, or unusual water quality. So next step, check first the UV lamp. The UV lamp is, an, is a critical component of the system. Inspect it for sign of damage or wear. If the UV lamp is not lit, check the lamp itself and the connections. Replace the lamp if it's old or say, maybe damaged. Then be sure to handle UV lamps with gloves and avoid touching the glass surface with your bare hands. A skin oils can affect the lamp performance so, so use, use soft cloths or tissue to handle the lamp. The next step three is to inspect electrical components. If the UV lamp still does not work after replacement or if you suspect an electrical issue, then you follow these steps. Number one, check the power supply cable and plug for any damage or loose connections. Number two, use the multimeter to test the power supply and confirm that electricity, electricity is reaching the UV lamp. If there is no power, 
save your fuses or circuit breakers. Ensure that the UV lamp is properly connected to the control unit and all wires and connections are secure. If the electrical issue remains unresolved, then consult the manufacturers manual uh, or seek professional assistance. Then after that, check for water flow issues. If you are experiencing low water, low flow, water flow through the UV system, then you consider, may consider the following. Number one, check for the clogs or the blockage in the pre-filter or any sediment filter leading to the uh, UV unit. Clean or replace these filters as needed. Next, verify that the water pressure entering into the UV system meets the manufacturer requirements. Ensure that there are no kinks or restrictions in the water supply tube. Next step is clean and maintain the UV sample. Over the time, the UV chamber can accumulate minerals, deposits, or biofilms affecting the effectiveness of the UV treatment. Clean the UV chamber. Disconnect the water supply to the UV system. Remove the UV chamber, uh, UV chamber housing, and clean the quartz sleeves and chamber with soft cloths or a mild acid solution. It may be, it is as recommended by the manufacturer. Be gentle to avoid damaging the quartz leaves. Reassemble the UV chambers and connect the water supply. Then of course you test the quality after performing the necessary repairs and maintenance. Test the water quality to ensure that the UV system is effectively sterilizing the water. And also follow the manufacturer's guideline for testing. And as a regular maintenance, to prevent the future issues, perform regular maintenance on your UV water purifier, including say, replacing the UV lamps according to the manufacturer's recommendation and cleaning the system as needed. Always consult the manufacturer's manual and guidelines for your specific UV water purifier model and consider seeking professional assistance if you are uncertain about any aspect of the repair process or if the problem persists. UV systems are critical for water sedimentation, water disinfections, so it's essential to ensure they are functioning correctly. Next comes the repairing a reverse osmosis RO water Repairing a reverse osmosis unit in a water purifier can be more complex than fixing a basic filtration unit due to the intricacies of the RO system. Some common issues of these filters are low water production, leaks, noise, etc. To resolve these issues, inspect the electrical components and repair it necessary, if necessary. Check for the water flow issues and replace filter and the RO membrane as needed. Again, as like before, the step one is identify the problem, determine the specific issue with the RO with your RO unit. Common problems of the RO filter includes the low water production, unusual taste, odor taste, or noise, etc. So again, next step. Check for the leaks, inspect the RO system for any visible leaks, both in the unit itself and along the tubing and the connection. Replace any damaged or worn out tubing, fittings, or rollings. Tighten loose connection with currents. Then replace the filter, filters, and the membrane. If the water production is very low, or the water quality has deteriorated, it may be time to replace the filters and RO So to replace, follow this following steps. Number one, shut off the water supply to the RO unit. 
open the filter housing by turning them counterclockwise or following the you can follow the manufacturer's instructions then remove and replace the pre filters and the post filters a post filter is in case of activated carbon and sediment filters then be sure to note the flow direction indicated on the filter if the arrow membrane needs replacement then disconnect the tubing leading to it remove the old membrane and install the new one then reassemble the filter housing and reconnect the tubing as before like next step is here also the clean the system if you notice unusual taste or odors clean the arrow system for cleaning the arrow system number one prepare a mixture of warm water and vinegar disconnect the tubing leading to the arrow membrane housing pour a pour the vinegar solution into the membrane housing and let it soak for say 15 to 30 minutes then reconnect the tubing and flush the system with a clean water to remove any uh, vinegar residues the next step is inspect the pump if there is a pump in your system in your arrow system if your arrow system has a pump and you hear unusual noises or experience low water pressures then inspect the pump for issues number one check for the loose or damaged wiring replace or repair as needed test the pump with multimeter to ensure it's functioning correctly or maybe consult the manufacturer's guideline for specific testing procedures then finally turn on the water supply once you have replaced the filters membranes and completed any necessary repair then turn on the water supply to the RA unit then first the air bubbles open the arrow faucet to pours any air bubbles from the system allow the system to run for say few minutes until the water runs clear and is normal then of course monitor the performance monitor the RA unit's performance over the next few days to ensure it's producing clean purified water and say that the U uh, issue has been resolved and of course again uh, regular maintenance to prevent the future issues perform some regular maintenance on your RA unit according to the manufacturer recommendation this may include replacing filters and the membrane on sediment keep in mind that this reverse osmosis system can be complex and it's essential to follow the manufacturer instructions and guidelines for your specific unit if you are concerned con uncertain about any aspect of the repair process or if the problem persists consider seeking some uh, professional assistance from a qualified technician or the manufacturer's customer support the next is your repairing of activated carbon adsorption based water purifier repairing an activation carbon adsorption based water purifier primarily involves addressing issues related to the carbon filter the housing and any associated components activated carbon filters are commonly used in various types of water purification system including say under sink filters filters and uh, counter top filters issues that may occur in this type of filters are unusual taste and water leakage to resolve these issues clean the system if necessary replace activated carbon filters save for the leaks and tighten the connections so again you follow the same steps number one again identify the problem determine the specific issue with your activated carbon water purifier again a common problem includes uh, reduced water flow unusual taste odor leaks filter replacement if required so as a first step you have to shut off the water supply turn off the water supply to the water purifier to prevent water from the from 
entering the system during the repairing process then next step replace the carbon filter if the primary issue is a change in taste or say odor or water quality it's likely time to replace the activated uh, carbon filter to to replace follow these following steps number one open the filter housing by using a wrench or following the manufacturer's instructions remove the old activated carbon filter insert a new activated carbon filter making sure it's properly seated and secure reassemble the filter housing and tighten it securely then next is again same check for the leaks inspect the filter housing connection and tubing for any visible sign of damage or losing fill, uh, fitting number one you can see if you find loose connection tighten it using a wrench if there is a damage to the housing or tubing replace the damage components apply teflon tap or pipe uh, pipe sealant to threaded connections if necessary to prevent the leaks then uh, Clean the system. If you notice some unusual taste or odors in the water, it might be due to build up inside the fi filter housing. Clean the components by following number one. Remove the activated carbon filter and rinse the housing with a clean water. Soak the activated carbon filter, if it is a reusable one, in a mixer of warm water and the vinegar to remove any accumulated contaminants. Then rinse it thoroughly. Then finally reassemble the filter housing and replace the cleaned or new activated uh, carbon filter. So next, of course, the turn on the water supply. Once you have addressed the issues and uh, are confident that everything is assembled properly, sealed properly, turn on the water supply to the water purifier and check again for the leaks continuing in monitoring the performance after repairing the purifier monitor its performance over the next few days to ensure it is operating correctly and providing you the clean water and again the uh, regular maintenance is also required to prevent future issues perform regular maintenance on your activated carbon water purifier of course as recommended by the manufacturer this may include your sending carbon filters on schedule and cleaning the system. Next is repairing of water purifier which is uh, built on ion exchange method. Repairing uh, a water purifier based on the ion exchange the method involves addressing issues related to the ion exchange resin, the regeneration process and the overall system. Ion exchange water purifiers are often used in uh, water softeners and some types of filtration system. The technical issues that may identify in this type of filter are decreased softening and regeneration problems. To solve these problems, number one, inspect and replace the ion exchange resin a resin bed, bed if necessary check the regeneration cycle and salt levels inspect the valves and control for damage controls for the damage in all cases safety precautions are essential including say turning off the power supply water supply and following the manufacturing guidelines as a process, first try to identify the problem to determine the specific issue with your ion exchange water purifier. Common uh, problem includes a decrease in water softening, effectiveness, resin bed falling, or regeneration cycle problem. So, shut off the water supply. Next is inspect the ion exchange resin bed if your water uh, softener or purifier uses an ion exchange resin bed then inspect it for issues like open the resin tank or housing according to the manufacturer's instructions check the resin bed for sign of falling depletion or damage 
if the resin bed is full or depleted it may need to be replaced carefully scoop out the old resin and add new resin according to the manufacturer guidelines then reassemble the resin tank or housing securely then next step is check the regeneration cycle if the regeneration process is not working correctly then follow these following steps number one check the timer or control valve setting for the regeneration cycle ensure that they are set according to the manufacturer recommendations then inspect the brine tank for the salt levels if the salt is depleted at the appropriate amount of water softeners salt then next manually initiate a regeneration uh, cycle according to the manufacturer's instructions to ensure the system is functioning correctly monitor the cycle to see if any issues arise the next step is inspect the valves and controls check the valves and controls of the ion exchange system for any sign of say damage or malfunctions replace or repair any faulty components then finally the turn on the water supply once you have addressed the issues and if you are confident that everything is properly assembled and sealed then turn on the water supply then monitor performance after repairing the uh, purifier monitor its performance over the next uh, few days to ensure it operating correctly and providing you the desired level of water softening or purification and of course here also the regular maintenance to prevent future issues perform regular uh, maintenance on your ion access water purifier as recommended by your manufacturer this may say include checking the refilling and brine tank inspecting the resin bed and adjusting the regeneration settings then, then if, if required, required seek, seek a professional help if, if the, the problem, problem persists, persists or if you are unsure about any aspect of the repair process consider seeking professional assistance from a qualified technician or manufacturer's uh, customer support an access system can be complex and it's essential to ensure they are functioning correctly for effective water treatment always refer to the manufacturer's instructions for your specific water purifier model and follow their guidelines for maintenance and repairs so dear learners now let us check a demo video of repairing a water purifier you need as a whole in this session i have discussed about the maintenance process of a water purifier troubleshooting and repairing of some of the common issues of water purifier please do not forget to post your questions and give your feedback on this session thank you